last episode of What We Know, we talked about what kind of engine Void Interactive was going to use, and we learned that it was a very, very common one that's used amongst any developers and AAA developers alike. It was a fun little video, but now we're ready to move on to Ready or Not Dev Block 2, and era approaches. This article was posted on July 4, 2017 by Void Interactive. The article reads, Ready or Not has had some frantic last few weeks since our announcement. We've gathered a lot of attention and support, which has cemented our view that people are ready for a complete, authentic, police-based tactical FPS. There's a fair bit of news to go through, so let's get started running through some features. UI Contemporary UI design seems to be intent on forcing the player to drag their focus around the screen unnecessarily. Instead of their focus being on their surroundings and situations, we aim to fix this with the inclusion of our internally named Swiss Army UI. This implement provides the player with information such as player speed, orientation, lean direction, weapon control, and two pop-up radius menus. The aim of the SAUI is to keep the player's line of focus vertically centric with the crosshair while not obfuscating view. Below, we have some GIFs. Or is it GIFs? GIFs or GIFs? Is, is that the conversation of the day? Or are these GIFs or are these GIFs? <laughs> we have some GIFs of the current iteration of the SAU in action. So more than likely, this is probably going to be subject to change, but here's what we have. We have what looks like the ammunition bars right there. 30 is, I'm guessing, how many bullets are in the clip. And as soon as he fires them off, yep. It goes down. We also have a compass sort of deal, and it looks like wherever you move, this dot moves. And I'm guessing that when it fluctuates like that, you're making noise. At least that's what it seems like. There's also a clip-looking thing with a bullet. I'm guessing that's semi-automatic, and I'm guessing that you can flip that to fully automatic. I'm guessing that's what it is. You know, these are all guesses. Speculation. And as you can tell, this GIF is inside of the tutorial area, but I still don't know what this bar is. I really don't know what that is. Hmm. Because the bar move. yeah, the bar moves a little bit, and I'm not sure what that means. If anybody wants to guess in the comments, they could go ahead. But as you can see, the ball right there, it moves when he does something. It went down a little bit, so maybe he's crouching? Is this like the stamina bar? I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. At the beginning of the GIF, I've noticed that he... kind of like goes inside of a room, but I can't tell if he's like breaking in. If he's breaking in, that might mean that he's using his stamina to break in. That's why he loses like a giant chunk of that little bar right there. Up next we have Environment Reaction. New VFX. Impacts effects. Kick up long lasting clouds of dust. Bullet ricochet spark and sputter. Guns kick up particles when fired close to objects. And we've added in Parallax Occlusion. Map bullet holes for relevant materials. These POM, or POM, mesh impacts add an extra level of punch to your weapons, giving the illusion that your your rifle is yanking out chunks of wall with every shot. We're very happy to have implemented this, and so quickly, as it's an underutilized technique. The GIF, or GIF below, shows what I like to call a pothole. Look at that sexy thing, just look at it, oh my god! All kidding aside, this seriously looks like the floor from uh, that one video with the guys that's laying on the floor. I believe it's the apartments area, I think that's what it is. But yeah, it's basically showing off um, the ex you know, like if you toss a grenade, it's gonna explode pieces of the floor. That's a pretty good implementation that I wish most games would have. But we can't all have what we want, can we? Below, an officer fires an MPL into a set of various materials to create a cloud of matter. This showcases how an individual particle effects work together to provide greater visual feedback. I Man, I don't really need to say much here. Just basically watches the developer fucks around in his own little area. I mean, this doesn't look like a part of a map. Like the floors are on the walls, and there's wood. There's a bunch. There's a random blue thing right there. Honestly, I think that this is like some kind of side area that the developer just made just to shoot around. So moving on, weapon attachments. The current inclusion of a myriad of collimated weapon optics will give units a greater degree of freedom when it comes to how they want to handle a situation or when it comes to choosing a more comfortable sight picture. These attachments, and all future ones, will only be applicable to weapons with the appropriate rail system support. Below it shows a video, which is actually an unlisted video on YouTube that's actually tied to the Void Interactive YouTube channel. And it's basically them showing off the optics and they're moving them in circles. I can't understand why they're doing that, but literally the only reason that pops up into my mind is for like a controller. You know, because controllers sometimes have those dead zones, so they're trying to test where it is. I mean, that's just what I think, but I mean, it could be something else. The guns remind me a lot of Modern Warfare 3 for some reason. Maybe it's just me? 
But that's exactly what these guns look like. Like as if they just stole them from Modern Warfare 3. It makes me wonder what other unlisted videos are on this channel. Projectile Dynamics. We've included some more information on our projectile dynamics, showcasing ballistic penetration, power, and material ricochet likelihoods. When firing through objects, users will receive much more predictable projectile trajectory if bullets impact parallel to your position. Higher hit angles will result in larger trajectory offsets, or even ricochet the bullet, when the appropriate surface is impacted. The aim is to make combat more frantic and unpredictable. When an officer misses his shots, ensuring players consider all options before they engage. Patch customization. Players can now assign an image to their officer's shoulder by entering any valid URL. This support files that include an alpha channel. Patches on the shoulder? You know where like you make a picture and you like put it on your shoulder? Is that is that what that's supposed to be? Like I don't... That's what it seems like? Uh, I mean that's kind of cool. Like I, I kind of want to make my own little patch and put it on my shoulder. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't know. I'm not sure if that's what that is. Maybe? I don't know. Great news! We've received overwhelming support from everybody regarding Ready or Not, with a lot of individuals claiming they'd be willing to pitch in what they could do to help this game grow. This rally of support was unexpected, and Void is glad that we have such an enthusiastic audience. However, our company has recently completed negotiations with an investor, effectively cementing our ability for us to develop on Ready or Not in a more permanent fashion. Expansion. We've taken to bolstering our development team somewhat, adding a technical animator and AI programmer to the ranks. While we're still sorting things out, the plan is to speed up development even more than before so we can get this title to our audience faster. More information on this will be posted next dev blog. Yeah, and this dev blog is, is, is a very long time coming. Finally, it wouldn't be a void post without a strange promo. We're aware of a lot of people who are looking forward to seeing the lengthy footage of Ready or Not gameplay. The next full trailer we release will be strictly devoted to in-game footage. So this basically marks the end of the video. Um, I think there's one thing I want to share with you guys. So you know the official website page, right? Yeah, so there's actually something that has been added to the website, but it's nothing that significant. If you scroll all the way down, it says 2018. But if you go back to a video that I had made in February, it would show that it's 2017 so it's just a little news story i wanted to tell you guys uh nothing too significant but it might mean that this game is going to come out in 2018 maybe fingers crossed but either way i will catch you next friday when we analyze the trailer Bye bye